We are here nearly 3,400 miles from home. Welcome to Alaska. Now our attempt here is to get all eight national yes. parks in this trip. So we will be here for quite some time. We'd hope to do this intro at the Welcome to Alaska sign. It was an <laughs> epic drive, but apparently there is a cruise ship in port yes. at Skagway, which we are very close to. There are people everywhere around yes. it. So we moved up here just a little bit. Today, we actually are heading to the ferry port. Yes. We're getting on a ferry and we're heading over to Glacier Bay. Is yep. that correct? Glacier yep. Bay, heading to Glacier Bay National Park. We are actually backpacking yes. from there. So we're leaving the truck at port getting on another ferry, making our way over. Anyway, we'll get you all up to date on how we got there now. Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve is a destination where it is best to leave your vehicle behind and use a plane or boat to visit. While there is a ferry service that is capable of transporting a vehicle, it ports in the small town of Gustavus, where there is only 10 miles of established roadway. The roads will get you to Bartlett Cove and the Lodge, but there is an exceptionally limited parking there, and the campground, while free, is walk-in only. It was because of this that we decided to load up our packs and make our park entrance on foot. Before this, however, we had two legs of ferry travel starting from Skagway. The first was with the truck to Juneau with an overnight at a nearby National Forest campground before we started the second leg to Gustavus, leaving the truck in Juneau. While the ferry system got us there without issue, in fact it was fun, we would have looked into a flight departure back to Juneau as it would have been much faster and on our schedule instead of the ferries and was nearly the same cost. There are two taxi companies that service Gustavus and their drivers are often waiting for the ferry to arrive for those who haven't arranged a pickup in advance. The park also runs a shuttle service. We can't remember why we chose a taxi over the shuttle to get us to the park, but we ended up using the shuttle to return. Welcome to Bartlett Cove Campground and Glacier Bay National Park. Yep, that's right. We've uh, we've actually been here for a little bit. We've set up camp. We've been gone on a few little uh, close exploratory hikes visited the visitor center, uh, which is where we have already also yes. changed some of our plans. <laughs> you see, our intention was tomorrow, we have already scheduled a uh, sea kayak full yep. day uh, yep. with a guide. So we were pretty excited about that. And then uh, we noticed that they're also doing some boat tours here. So yep. we talked to the folks at the visitor center. And my main question was, is that a different enough experience that we should forgo what we thought would be our second day here of hiking and instead do that and the young lady recommended yes yes she said do it so we did a thing so our second day here <laughs> yep. will be a, boat, uh, tour. a okay. boat tour full day and that way we know for sure yep. we will get up to the glacier we'll get some cooler shots of that yep. and we are hoping to still sneak in some hiking here yes. there and everything else now uh, I don't mean to get too wordy, but I will say that we are here for three nights, yes. four days, essentially. Yes. We got here at about noon. Yes. And uh, we we backpacked. We're staying in the campground, mm -hmm. and everything came on our backs, um, yes. in, our, in our backpack stuff. We overpacked. We were not prepared mm -hmm. for really less than a mile walk to the lodge and visitor center and how much food and dining yep. and showers yep. and stuff that's there. So if you were booking this trip, I would say, you know, focus more on clothes, especially warm, being ready for some the food, rain and yeah. some food, but there is some stuff here to yes. bail you out, uh, especially some of the water and things like yep. that. So anyway, with that said, tomorrow morning, we will see you uh -huh. on the water in a sea kayak. Thank you. 
That evening stroll continued to take us past the lodge and to the Huna tribal house, where after dinking around near the shore for a bit, there was a presentation about the house and Tlingit people from both a park representative and a member of the Tlingit community. This is something that we highly recommend on your visit as we were happy to learn and understand the relationship between the park service and the Tlingit people that continues to evolve. The following morning, we were up in time to take a walk on the forest trail before connecting with our sea kayaking group and heading out on the water. The early morning light across the mossy greens and crisp air set a lovely tone for the rest of the day. Keeping up with the group meant more focus on paddling than with the cameras. An exception to this is when there were critters nearby. We were pretty lucky to have fairly calm waters for the day and great weather. I'm sure this would be a different experience in rain or strong winds. Well, there you go, a full day of sea kayaking. Yes. We were in the water by about 9.30 and we just got off the water a little bit after yep. three, so it was a full day. As far as breaks, we had one for lunch. We did. Uh, we came up onto a beach on shore. Yep. The guides put together a really nice little lunch for us. And then other than that, just a few breaks on some kelp beds to yep. try to watch some animals, of which we saw some sea lions, yes. a sea otter, yep. a bunch of fish jumping, uh, jellyfish, things like that. If it's really important to you that you see the glaciers, the sea kayak tour, at least on our visit, did not get anywhere near them. So yep. we are happy that we have booked the boat tour tomorrow. It's my yes. understanding we will get up closer to that here on our trip. That's not to say that we're not happy with the trip. It was lovely. Yep. Uh, but I would say uh, with it being a full day, it was a paddle at times. Yes. Like there was some times with the tide and with the wind and some other things, we really had to put some power down for a while. So if you're not used to paddling, give a, maybe a yes. half a day or at least take that into some level of consideration. Now the days are still really long here. So <laughs> we're heading back to camp. We're going to uh, shed some of these warmer clothes and then we're not sure what we're gonna get into exactly. Sun doesn't set until well after nine o'clock. It's back up at five. With it just being after three, we might be able to sneak in a hike but I don't know. The main destinations for the boat tour are the glaciers along Glacier Bay. 
This said, the scenery and wildlife throughout the route is simply stunning, and the tour does a great job of trying to keep you engaged when new wildlife and scenery come into view. The tour also provides transportation for backcountry backpackers and kayakers looking to spend some time away from everyone but the wildlife for a few to several days. We stopped at two areas to drop off groups beginning their multi-day adventures, one of which was within a few miles of where we had spotted some coastal brown bears foraging the shore at low tide. The weather was interesting. It looked as though the sky was going to unload on us off and on throughout the morning, but it never did. Jay was quite happy with the drama in the skies for landscape images, but then was frustrated when he needed faster shots for the animals. Well, a little update. Last night we decided to do nothing. We ended up <laughs> making dinner. We had dinner. We got super tired, so we just crashed. We yep. slept like, uh, well, we we didn't sleep for 12 hours, but we no. were in the tent for 12 hours yep. trying to sleep. It uh, <laughs> the the backpacking pads and things just aren't quite as good as when we're in the truck. True. But uh, anyway, uh, this morning we were up and at them early, and we had a lovely day. You have now seen everything from the uh, the boat tour yes it was phenomenal it yes. really was very good it was worth the money and what i would say now at least based on our experience mm -hmm. thus far is if you only have one day in this park Dude. make it that yeah. boat tour that was absolutely the 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 awesome thing to do yes if you have an extra day then adding on the, a day of kayaking, even a half day of kayaking, yes. I think would be a great choice. Yep. And if you have more than two days, there are a lot of backcountry options. Yes. But you would need to be prepared to move into the backcountry. There just isn't yes. that much to do here. Even if you hiked all the trails, you might be able to fill another day. But honestly, even with a day of kayaking and a day on the boat, yep. you still have a good half a day, if you're here during the summer anyway, yes. where you can go hike and do other things. So. That's that. I think we are going to do a quick change in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Go out on a hike. Yep. The hike we decided on was Bartlett River Trail. While this route often has water in view, it is mostly wooded through dense spruce hemlock rainforest. Along our hike, we stopped to watch a bald eagle, several otters, and always had our eyes peeled for bears. A longer hike option would be to Bartlett Lake, which offers 10 plus miles round trip. Okay, so uh, this is a lovely hike, but uh, more importantly, we just had a really interesting animal encounter. Yes. Uh, you know, we're trying to talk the whole way, be bear aware, yada yada, and I hear some stuff moving off to my left. Uh, I look down there and then, um, I noticed something black moving. I tell Alana, I say, hold, hold up, black bear is wanting to cross the path. But then as I'm keeping my eye on it, I notice it has sort of an odd shaped tail. Its gait was more boundy. It wasn't really moving very well. And uh, honestly, we weren't sure, kind of a cat-like head, yeah. short legs. We weren't sure what the heck it was. Anyway, I got two clips of it, both really fast, a little out of focus. Here it comes right now.
Did you catch it? I'll show it to you again. Here it comes. What do you think? We ended up stopping some locals on the trail or what mm -hmm. we presume to be locals. They're going to fish up to the river that we're hiking to. And uh, they think that it was a wolverine. Yeah. So we don't know. We have no reason to argue with what we're thinking. We're thinking that's really cool. So what we're going to do when we get done, we're hoping to uh, stop back by the visitor yep. center and we're going to show a ranger or two and, and see. see. They said in 2006, someone spotted, 19, confirmed. 2019. Oh, I'm sorry, 2019. I thought yes. she said six. 19. I apologize. Still quite a bit of time since anyone has confirmed a wolverine yeah. if we just did. So super exciting. We will let you know how mm -hmm. it goes. And before we pick up again, here it comes again for one more show. witnessed the infamous Sasquatch lizard. <laughs> Sasquatch it on. Well, there you go, a lovely little hike. Yes. It's gonna end up at about 6.5 miles yeah. for us by the time we're done, but that's because we left from camp. What we did was the camp trail to the Tlingit Trail, yep. and then from there we picked up the Bartlett River Trail. River trail. Uh, the River Trail itself is right about four miles, two out, two back. We did stop a little bit shy yeah. uh, because of some mud. Now we know on this Alaska trip, we're gonna get in some pretty deep mud. We just weren't ready yet. Tomorrow morning we leave here, we get on the ferry. We don't have an extra set of shoes. So we were so close to the end. We yeah. just pulled in a board, especially with this extra distance and already having a full day on us. Yep. It's been great so far. I am not sure what the morning will bring. We will see you then. Well, what we got into was simply a good night's rest. Yes. In fact, we've gotten up this morning, we've broken camp. As you can see, our packs are quite a bit fuller. All of our gear is in there, or what's left of it that we yep. didn't eat. Uh, we're now making the hike out. We'll pick up uh, the shuttle. A shuttle will take us over to the ferry and then we sort of unwind our way back out of here to Skagway. Yes. Uh, I will wrap up the video with the images that I took while here. I don't think there was too many. Hopefully you enjoy those. And then we will pick up with you again. Where? On our adventure to Dead Horse Prudhoe Bay. Prudhoe Bay. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.
Okay, the mystery of the Sasquatchodial that we saw is, uh, at least according to the ranger that we just talked yes. to, she thinks it's a river otter. Yes. So uh, it makes sense, although I would say the size of it, even she said that it's would a be big. a really, really big river <laughs> otter. But uh, it just makes more sense with where it was at to yep. her. Uh, having come out of the water and moved along. She said they have a very similar gait, very similar coloring. We did not see the stripes that a wolverine nope. would typically have down the back. So uh, I don't know. Do you agree? Disagree? Tell us in the comments.